gentlemen, please welcome Cindy Lee Berryhill. All right. Mine are coming up. I've been having fun this year playing arranger and stuff, and I've been lucky enough to have these really cool musicians that play in various symphonies and orchestral situations to to play with me. So this has really been a treat for me.
Frog for the... <laughs> That's when I turn the other way.
So what are you guys up to? How come you're not at the heavy metal show? The heavy metal conference. There's a big heavy metal conference tonight. And they don't know where it is? I don't know.
Even if it's gonna be in San Diego tomorrow, we're playing at the San Diego street scene, which is kind of a cool thing. There's a zillion bands that are playing. And we're one of the zillion. <laughs> We just recorded this song yesterday that, that I'm gonna, we're just about to do. And it's, pro it's coming out on this record, it's probably coming out in February.
trouble is, is I want to do this thing, but I don't have it memorized. Can I get you to do me a favor? Me? Yeah. No. No? I can do it. I can do it. Can you? Yeah, I can do it. I just want somebody to like sit here, sit in a chair right here and hold this so I can read it. <laughs> Pull up a chair. Okay. I'll stop in a second. I'll stop partway through it and tell you to turn the page. Gosh. Blue light. I wrote this when I was on a, I, a few weeks ago. I went to Canada to do a folk festival up there, and and. I didn't know this, but then they wanted me to do this thing called Women's Studies at the Folk Festival, but I wasn't sure what that meant, Women's Studies, like, you know, I thought Folk Festival was just supposed to sing and stuff, so. <laughs> so anyway, I wrote this thing, and um, then, then I did it, so, and I'll do it now, I think. I'm, I, don't, I don't need glasses. <laughs> personality. You want to get in shape before you go on the road. And like for a new record. Bruce did that in a big pumped up kind of way. Way too much for me. But say if I had, say Madonna for a coach, I could maybe really want to get some muscle tone and yet still be a girl. She worked me a lot harder than I think I can imagine myself being willing to work. First off, we'd start with stretches. Excuse me. <laughs> we'd meet at the UCLA running field, stretch for 10 minutes, and then she'd turn to me and say, All right, girl, it's time. And we'd be up and jogging around the track at a slow to moderate pace. Our first month would stay at a mile or four times around the track. And after the first month, the amount of track circles would increase weekly. She's trying to work me up to four or five miles a day. I can imagine there we'd be, Madonna and me, jogging around the track. She'd have a timer periodically. Funny, she's always running right along beside me, instead of like most coaches that lethargically lounge in the middle of the field, shouting commands, like my old coach at high school, when I was the first girl on the Vista High School boys track team, they hated me, they all hated me. Madonna would be in great shape, something to really aspire to. Her white blonde locks all tucked up, hidden in a Dodgers cap. No lipstick, no makeup. Yeah, man. When the daily workout would be done, we could talk about lipstick shades and razor blades that shave the best on legs. And then go out and get a dove bar. Madonna, I think, would be a really great coach. A 
San Diego. <laughs> so we have to drive home. But we went to Canners already, so we're probably not going to do that.
wish I was a man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My hair stuck. Come on. <laughs> God, that's bad. You know that there's a thing that came out in the paper this week that was said something about me, and it said I kind of was like Cindy Brady, <laughs> but I dressed like Marsha. <laughs> This is such a Marsha dress. Thank you. 